Hey guys, it's Chet. Tonight I'm going to come at you with a tale of woe. Probably one of the crappiest AR magazines I've ever seen. Um, it's a total piece of crap. Also, what makes up a crappy magazine? Um, you know, a lot of them boast the same features. You know, spring, chrome, silicon spring, and no-tilt followers, and this and that. But, uh, you know, truly, they aren't all created equal. So let's take a look at one here that's just, just total garbage. Um, this thing is called a Syntec mag, and uh, it's a standard 30 round. And uh, you see right there, it says Syntec mags. It's got some good, you know, some checkering. It's pretty like, you know, ergonomically, you know, and aesthetically pleasing. Um, but one of the big things about this is, uh, you know, you hear a lot of folks talking about leaving your mags loaded and should you leave them loaded, you know, or should you empty them or, um, I, I probably picked this up like a little over a year ago. I picked up two of these at my local Cabela's and, uh, it was kind of after like the magazine ban, you know, thing was, was in the works and that was all subsiding and, uh, you know, they were getting regular magazines back in stock so they had these Syntec mags that they had during the famine and I think they were just like you know shoddily quickly and cheaply produced but um, they just had them in a big bin and uh, just with a little barcode on them no packaging or anything you know and they were like $7.99 a pop so I picked up a couple just to try them out and uh, after leaving this thing loaded so I went through a, a move and I left, you know, I'm just now unpacking all, all of my crap basically. But uh, this thing had been loaded for about a year. Now, the same is true with this little 20 round thermold magazine. And uh, we'll talk about that, about, you know, the, the quality of, of these plastic magazines. I'm not, too, I'm not too, like too hip on plastic. I've got more steel, you know, and aluminum magazines overall for all my equipment. Um, you know, other than this polymer, but uh, the the first thing on this Syntec mag is, I mean, you can see that the the cartridge is just damn near already poking out under its own pressure, and uh, this thing basically will just spray the shells. the The feed lips on them are so small that if you just they're so flimsy. I mean, if you just squeeze it a little bit, you know, it's just you can see it just wanting to come out. But you, know, you can shake them like that. And it just, if you give it a shake, it, it literally just ejects every cartridge. It's just annoying as hell. You know, they're just, and it's got hella play to it. But. I guess my, the big bitch on this, it works fine if you load it and you, just, and you just stick it in your, you know, in your AR and you're just shooting off the bench. But the damn feed lips on the thing are so flimsy and so thin. And then, you know, you can't, you can't really even salvage it for it's like, you know, it's follower or anything. Um, you know, because the follower is like totally proprietary in here too. It matches this body. I mean, it feels like a good mag, but... And, and any kind of like bumping or jarring or doing anything, it, it just becomes, you know, a, car, a cartridge ejection device. And so this Syntec mag right here is just an absolute, you know, piece of crap. I mean, they flooded the market with these things. And I mean, there was probably no research and development that went into it. I mean, it's just damn near like a, you know, one of those plastic printers were, were printing these things out. But... That's that, you know, and the thir the thermal one, the lips on it are way thicker, you know, way more robust. You don't have like hardly any movement, you know, and it's just your traditional square plastic mag. I don't have any like mag poles or, you know, those Troy mags or, you know, P mags or whatever you want to call them. Um, like I said, I only have a few few of these polymer mags, but these little thermal ones are have worked out great. I've left these things loaded for over a year, and they they pump them out. They're just a 20 round mag. But then again, you know the feed lips, you know, and then here's just a you know regular old GI metal one. 
you know, the feed lips, they have no problem holding the damn cartridge in. But you'll find the feed lips on them. Here's an SKS magazine. These flimsy ass, shitty ass little feed lips. This looks like somebody just bent them over. I mean, you know, with a pair of pliers. Yeah, you, you know. There's a couple of them here. Here's another one that's just total crap. You can see that that lip right there. These feed lips will just the feed lip will make or break the magazine. I mean, either it won't cycle, you know, like these SKS magazines. These these ones shit. Once I bend and manipulate the feed lips, they'll just you know one two rounds stop. You know, bang it, push it down. One two three stops. You know, but then I have some old school. Uh, USA mags and uh, you, know, you can see they've got nice rounded you know feed lips on them and the metal is way thicker compared to you know let me stack them here compared to these other ones you know you can see the difference in the feed lips on those things but the point of the video is this Syntec mag I mean th these things are just unless you're gonna shoot from a bench I mean, they are just utter garbage. Absolutely. I mean, the spring might be the only thing salvageable in them. It's got a proprietary follower. You can't even salvage the follower. You can't even salvage the follower and use it in, in another mag. Um, you know, probably just the spring. Um, total crap. So, I don't know. I knew, Mike Cabela's was selling these. I don't know if there were you know, any other retailers or anywhere selling them, but... I mean, there should, should just be a recall on it. But if you guys bought any of these Syntec mags and you have yet to go try them out, pull them out, load them up with 30 rounds and shake them and just watch them all fly out because they're going to go everywhere. Um, it's just a total total pain in the ass, total piece of crap. It's like in, embedded failure. They flood the market with these. Everybody has them. And if you haven't, like, gone oh, taking them out, you know, and testing them out, you might think, like, you've got these things stacked up and they're loaded and, like, you're you're ready to go, you know, for something. But, yeah, the true truth being is as soon as you put it in a pack, it's going to spew all of the cartridges out inside your bag. So that's my take on that. Syntec mag garbage at least for the AR-15 it's the only one I've ever seen in uh, this Syntec brand so alright guys just thought I'd share that with you this is Chet signing out thanks for watching